All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. So a few questions now on what Democrats should or maybe shouldn't do next, starting with Jared Kushner. Why are we bringing him up, you might ask? Well, Democrats did just that during Wednesday's hearing about Hunter Biden's business dealings. Check out this headline right here. Quote, Jared Kushner subpoena over Saudi deal stopped by House Republicans. Now, the issue involves Kushner taking a $2 billion investment from the Saudis shortly after leaving the White House. Um, all right, Democrats, I'll start with you. Worth it to go after Jared Kushner? Well, I think that it does. If they're going, I think the Democrats are making the point that if you're going after the president's son and you have no evidence to suggest we can do the same, I don't think they actually want to do it. But I do think it is very suspicious that when you leave, like in the months you leave after government, you get this billion dollar deal while you were negotiating the Abram Accords and stuff. Like, it's a little fishy. It smells funny, but I don't know if there's any tit wrong for, doing Tit for tat, that's worth it or no? No, it's not. I think the distinction, it's not tit for tat. The distinction is that this was someone who worked in the White House. Yeah, that's it was a, a government difference. official. And they're going after Hunter Biden, who's a private citizen, not a government official. So why not? I don't think they ever intended to bring him to Congress because they knew the GOP would control the subpoena and the GOP would never do that. But it's... It, it, it's a it's a powerful statement. Why not? By the it's way, as legitimate as any any other inquiry they make. By the way, here was Jared Kushner uh, last month when when asked about this. Watch. PIF is one of the most prestigious investors in the world. Every fund manager is trying to work with them. Uh, if you look at right now at the time, uh, you know maybe going to the Middle East as an investor was less popular uh, three years ago. Now it's one of the hottest places in the world. $2 billion investment uh, into Kushner's fund, investment six months after he left the White House from the uh, fund tied to the Saudi crown prince. You got any issue with Democrats looking into that? No, I, you know, I don't. I just think that stories like these, whether it comes from Republicans or Democrats, ends up eroding Americans' belief in, in really public service. And, you know, you can say it's not tit for tat, Scott. You know, it's not only tit for tat, but tit for tat and tit for it tat. It was back, back and forth. forth. It's like years. Like years. Sure when Republicans are in charge, Democrats are in charge, we all go after the same thing. And I don't think it's good for democracy. Okay, all right. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.